and welcome to Anime Chan. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be watching Attack on Titan Season 2 The Finale. First of all, I just wanted to point out that it is 34 degrees Celsius and like 65 to 70% humidity today, so I am literally dying. So there is a fan on and I hope that uh, the sound will travel over that. And I'll talk loudly so that uh, you won't. I hope you won't hear that too much, but I really can't do it without the fan because it's so, so, so very hot. But that aside, I don't know how much I'm looking forward to this episode because I'm pretty sure they're going to leave us. It, it was the end of season two, so they'll probably have left you on some kind of giant cliffhanger. And luckily I don't have to wait a year or whatever to see it, but I am going to give myself a week after this episode to let everything sink in. Maybe even do my best to, to binge watch season 2 again because I know there's a lot that I miss that you guys sometimes get frustrated with me. But it's my first time watching, I'm not going to notice all the little things. I notice just literally what they put in front of me in that moment because I'm not Japanese so I'm reading subtitles. And then you want me to notice the freaking that person in the corner over there and the da, 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 da. no, it's not happening. So I will do my best to maybe binge watch the whole of season two. If I could, I would even do the whole of season one, but that might just take me too long. But I'll see what I can do. But without further ado, let's jump into the episode. And at the end, I will give all my thoughts on this last stretch of season two. <laughs> And it's back. PTSD. Oh, the episode is called Scream. Wonderful. I'm so excited. <laughs> I almost thought she was going for Ervi. I would have died. Ha 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 ha! 
Ay. Is he con- what? Because he screamed, just like the other titans screamed and everyone came running. Is he the king of the titans? He can control titans? Dear God! Oh! Because he willed it! Willed it! Because he can control the titans. Even inside the walls, there's an opportunity! There's a future! Yes, bitch! So, fuck. Excuse me, fuck Reiner. Information available for public disclosure, unyielding vow. Through extensive research and accounts of various incidents, it has become clear that the scourge of titans which have long plagued humanity are of human origin. The colossal titan which destroyed the wall at Shiganshina distributed the human producing the ability to transform. They would have been sent in to breach the wall with the purpose to exterminate humans. To exterminate humans, yeah. Titans are not sent by the heavens to punish us for our sins, but invaders that must be driven back. Thus we swear by the blood of our brothers and comrades that have, have spilled waging war against this foe. We shall not relent our lands, nor yield the fight. She no. saved them. I thought she, sa I thought she would save them. <sighs> she can relate to them. <laughs> Okay, I'm not entirely sure what all of that was now, but I'm just gonna go with it. Connie 
今回の巨人の発生源と言われてたもんなんか。Originated from 村での調査結果を彼に確認してもらったところ、あの仮説の信憑性が増すばかりでして、その報告の。帰りには損害がなかった。巨人が僕らを無視して、ライナーたちに向かい続けていったからだ。Because of you. そのことで、ジャンと話してたこともある。You are alone. エレンじゃないの。死んだ人たちを生かすか殺すかは、お前次第なんじゃないのか。その代償に見合う価値がお前にあるのか。やるしかねえ。巨人を操ってやる。ゴールマリアの不作。ライナーの奴を捕まえて償わせる。それが俺の。Did you see its face? I mean, I mean, excuse me, look at that. Okay. Okay. So that's the person inside that Titan. Okay. Give me, give me a chance to just gather myself. Let's think about this. Let me think about this. There are people behind wolves. Three wolves. One, two, three. There are poor people, and then the rich people are here in the middle. Why are they rich? I don't know. <clears throat> Once someone said that I think it was Annie. Yes, it was Annie when she was still inside, in the middle. Annie was in the middle, okay? Here at the, in the I mean, in the, yeah, in the middle of the walls. And she said she just wants people to be seen as equals or to have equal chance or something. I've forgotten now. But she said something along those lines. So clearly, I don't know, people aren't being treated as equal or people, I don't know. And she comes from outside the walls. Why are they outside the walls? I don't know. If the people in here at the middle, the higher ups, are the ones having the actual war with whoever is out there, it still does not make it right to kill all these innocent pe poor people. Like, I've, I've explained this multiple times before. If I want to, if I want to kill this guy because this guy killed my mom, but this person is in the way of killing this, this guy that he's wrong, he is the criminal, but this person is innocent, and, but I have to kill this person to get to that person. Me killing this person is wrong. End of story. End of discussion. If I then kill that person, I've avenged my mother's death, but I've killed an innocent person in the process. If for example, um, killing this, okay, let's say there are five innocent people, one guilty person. If I kill this guilty person, and that saves 100 innocent people, but I have to kill five other innocent people to get to the guilty person, 
that still doesn't make it right. The greater good. If if you go your if you if you go your whole life living it like that, mm -mm, it's not right. You can save a hundred people, but what if one of but what if one of these five innocent people that you had to to, to kill to get to this guilty, guilty person to save a hundred innocent people? What if one of these five innocent people that you had to save? What if this person here? was in a week going to discover some kind of cure to some kind of illness that would then have saved 200 people. There, you, there nothing good can come from you as a human being taking authority and deciding whose life is worth more and what and da 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 da. Nothing good can come from killing innocent people. You making the decision to kill innocent people is not, will never be, no, no. Mm -mm. My chocolate milk is hot. Mm -mm. It's not hot. It's, it's not even. It's not even. It's not even cool anymore. It's just between lukewarm and cool. Sorry, I, I digress. Um. Where Emir comes from, some kind of town, and she was taken from this town. This town was probably outside the walls. And then she was taken. Was she taken inside the walls to some kind of cult? I don't know. I don't know that. We can't know that. The reason why, like, I understand that you guys are saying, oh, but Reiner and Bertolt are innocent because they were trained to kill and there are children and da, da 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 But that is... That doesn't make what they're doing right. Because the thing is, to me, they know what they're doing is wrong. They were inside the walls. They could have told Irvin, we are, we realize what we're doing is wrong. We were trained to do this. I'm sorry that we did all of that, but we've realized we were wrong, please help us, we want to help you, we want to stop more innocent people from dying, this is the, our information, maybe we can somehow find peace, I don't know. The only reason, and I've said this before as well, the only reason that I can understand and, and sympathize is if their family is being held captive, and, the, and, and if they don't come back with it, and then their family is going to die, like that's the only thing that I would I would that's the only reason how I would forgive them I knew Emir was gonna save like no I didn't know it beforehand but I mean I, and I kind of went the moment she was like oh Emir, Emir, Krista, Historia I knew she was gonna go back sorry I wasn't I did, that wasn't made to mock I just I'm not good at acting um she went I knew because I knew the reason behind it was that she's the only person that really understands that they're not they're not entirely guilty but they're not entirely innocent either the thing is why I feel so strongly about the scouts and stuff is because all they're doing, from my knowledge, is protecting, because like, the titans attack them. What I saw, well, what I've seen is the tit titans attack them, the titans push them to be inside the walls. Reiner and them attack them first and they are retaliating. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not, they didn't decide to kill the Titans and then the Titans retaliated and now they're retaliating. N not the, the scouts, at least. I don't know who is, who is in command and sending the scouts out. I don't understand. Like, I, they're still not, like, I don't know enough. It, to me, it feels like there are two higher ups that are fighting a war with each other and they use the lower people to fight their battles for them. and. The lower people, neither of them are aware of why they're even fighting. That's what it feels like to me. And in that case, neither are really innocent, except for the fact that why why did Reiner not tell everyone? Why did they not come clean? As you guys keep saying, oh, they were together for three years. Doesn't that mean anything? Did, wouldn't you cry if your people of your your brother of three years 
No. If they felt that way, if Reiner and them felt, if they, if they were really, oh, three years of brotherhood, three years. If they really felt that way, then they would have come clean. Unless their little sisters are being held captive. I don't know. But, conclusively, I do not know enough to make an, a judgment. I can only go off of what I see and what I feel. And this is, and, and, and I feel that I want the Scouts to overcome the Titans because the Titans, whoever is controlling the Titans, are turning people into Titans. People that don't want to be turned into Titans and using them and sending them to kill other people. So that side in my eyes right now is wrong. And this side is the side that just wants to save freaking and just wants to break down the walls and live freely like any other human person, us, us, we all, we all just want to, like, I live in South Africa, we have walls, we have alarms, we have dogs, we have, not even, not even, then, in, in my door, I, I have to lock this door when I, when I do videos, because, because I, the alarm and everything is on, I have to lock that door, just in case someone somehow breaches, gets under the alarms, I have our, our door inside the house, we don't just have doors, we have gates that shut. And we have to protect ourselves so much, like just, and, and that's sad, that's, we don't want to live that way. Like if I could choose, I want, I'd want to live, I, I want to have to at least just leave my door unlocked and not be scared. Like that's just part of human nature, we want to kind of just not be afraid all the time. And that, uh, that's what I, how I see the scouts, like they, they don't want to live behind walls, they want to roam freely. But then, I, and I understand that like, even, even if we roam freely, freely we, in, we kill animals, like we, to us, animals are like lesser beings and we kill them. So it might be that the, whoever controls the titans see humans as lesser beings and wants to kill them, I don't know, or doesn't see their worth in their lives, that they're, they're dis dispensable, I don't know how to say that word. Like, we kill animals, and, and like, the, and someone explained the other day in a comment, um, that it's nature, like, nature, the, the, the lion kills the, the gazelle, and, and we don't bat an eyelash at that, like, it's nature, it's part of nature. But that is such a ridiculous argument because animals do not have reason. We have reason. If you say animals, and I'm sorry, I'm going to bring this up. Animals rape each other, and and we can't what what we can't do anything about that. It's part of nature. So if your if your sister gets raped, are you going to tell her, sorry, sis, it's part of nature? No, no, no. You don't do that. It's wrong. The person who did it is wrong. You know that. You can you can reason. It is wrong. So to me, I at this point in time, I see the scout as wrong. They have choices. They have reason. Not the scouts. The, those that side. The scouts is this side. That side to me. Someone in there is wrong and is teaching them wrong. And this side is trying to defend themselves. So. Yeah, have they done things that are wrong? Like, yes, Edwin himself has said he, he has to carry the burden. He has to make the decisions to sacrifice lives, to get to the truth so that they can, like, that's their job. Everyone signing up to become a scout knows that. They willingly sign up knowing that they might die, but we are fighting for some greater good. We are fighting to get freedom. So he has to live with that guilt, knowing that, these people that sign up for this, I have to, I have to make the best possible decision so that their sacrifice isn't for nothing. But they knowingly sacrifice themselves. That's the thing. They go. They sign up to be scouts. So it's different than. But yeah, it's all very relative. That's all very. I am aware of the fact that I have, I have limited information, and I'm my. Or that's why I've, up to now, I've withheld from analyzing and from making uh, arguments overall because. I don't know everything. I, tomorrow, like in the next season, I could learn something that that throws out my whole perspective. But I knew that, that I knew somewhere. I don't know where I started thinking of, that the titans were humans, or humans were turning, or some someone was turning humans into titans. 
I don't know. But uh, yeah, pretty amazing last episode. Amazing last episode. Was this 24 minutes long? How is that possible? How is it possible? It felt like a movie. It felt like an hour. Oh, that moment between... I knew Hannes was gonna die. Fucking red flags everywhere. Red flags from the moment he told... He was they him and Armin and, and Mikasa was on that wall and he was like, I'll get him back, I'll get him back. Da, 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 da. Knew it, knew he was gonna die, knew it. And then he did. And it was a very poetic death. Everyone wanted wanted Eren to turn into a Titan and save and save um Hannes, but no. That's not how life works. Um but wow, then then his will somehow controls the Titan. What did Reiner called him, he called him the coma, the correspondent or something, he called him something, but anyway, okay, so that's enough for me, uh, I don't know, I might take a week or two, because how many episodes do we have left in season, in season three, let me just find out for a sec here, season three has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. Twelve episodes. So that's twelve weeks. So how many? And and the last seven episodes, I'm going to do Attack on Titan week. So I'm going to try and binge watch. I'm going to do seven days of Attack on Titan. Um. So that's technically seven weeks. No, there's twelve episodes. So seven weeks plus five. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Five weeks and then seven the last seven episodes. Yes. So it's gonna take me five weeks plus that last week, six weeks to finish season three. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take two weeks off. Oh dear god. Whoa, the wind. Sorry, the wind just blew something out there and I got afraid. Oh wow, that was scary. Okay, so six about six weeks. It's gonna take me six weeks to end the last season. And that's if I do one episode per week and then the last the last seven in a week. Phew, I just gotta try there. Um that means I can take two weeks off and maybe binge watch the first two seasons again. But let me know what you guys think. Um I I, I think it's still a long time before the next season, so maybe if you want one one episode or two, maybe two. if you rather if you'd rather prefer two episodes, like there's twelve, so that'll take six weeks. So if you'd rather want me to take a week off and then do two episodes per week for six weeks, vote for that. But yeah, vote in the comment section what you'd prefer. Um, let me know your thoughts. I'm I'm very like my mind is everywhere right now, trying to think of like to take in all the. There were beautiful scenes in this. There were hints at stuff. There was. Uh, trauma and 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 what happened at the end and then the now we've confirmed basically they haven't they didn't have proof but we've confirmed people are being turned into titans that that monkey titan was there at the end and it's some kind of dude with very what well, six-pack and he looks like he looks he's blonde every time i see someone blonde i'm like oh it's armin's family when i saw um annie's titan i was like oh armin's probably armin's mom I, every time I see someone blonde, I'm like, oh, Armin. It's Armin's family. Um, so, yeah. Don't, don't spoil anything in the comment section down below, please. I'm not going to read for a day or two. Uh, so that um, my moderator is Nancy. Robin, you guys can, if, if you guys have time, you can go through it. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching Season 2 with me. This, this anime is ridiculous. Season 2 is definitely better than Season 1. Um, they have improved so much in terms of art, in terms of how they tell the story, in terms of high moments, low moments, everything's there. It's got everything. It's got everything. 10 out of 10. This season was, season 1 was like a 9.9, .9, but this is a solid 10. Like, I felt like in season 1 a little something was missing, but now this season it had everything. Everything. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Why am, why do I even, why am I even this happy? I should be terrified and, and but it's just it's just exciting because I, I, luckily I know it's just a story but yeah don't think I'm weird because I was excited.